Zeld. I did not stream Breath of the Wild. That came out. The Adventures of Zai Curry Edition. Yes, exactly. Knowing how Breath of the Wild starts is going to throw me right into it, so I'm going to probably keep quiet for a little bit. Strange gloom keeps getting thicker. Love this Zelda design. Her, she looks so good in that with, with the short hair. Likewise, Link looks good with the long ponytail. I've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? So I have to wonder why they even came down here to begin with. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why's my controller drifting already? Hold up. Oh, no. I think we're already having issues here. Both of my sticks are, 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 are like, moving on their own. I think I messed... You know what? It might be because of how I plugged it in. I'm sorry. Give me one second. I'll fix that. Uh, change grip order. Actually, you know what? Update. Okay. The one thing I didn't think to check. Oh no, this one's drifting now. Oh, that's great. Alright, cool. Well, a good thing I didn't think of that ahead of time. Yeah, they're both kind of kind of messed up. That's weird. They're working well just a little while ago. Link, has something caught your attention? Whatever it is, we could plan to look at it on our way back out. Let's continue our descent. But thou must. Okay, so there's a log too. Interesting. Crouch increases your stealth. Special controls. Okay, that's all tutorial stuff. Uh, amiibo disabled. Okay, we can't do that right now. Invert vertical camera, invert horizontal. Let me see how that looks. No, that's good. We can keep it like that. Camera sensitivity. Keep it on normal and we're going to aim with motion controls. Swap jump controls, assign B, jump to B and dash and other actions to X. Now I'm going to keep it on X. I know people are kind of, some people are a little little weird with jump being on X. I think it's fine. Lock mini map to north. Uh, yes. I want to, I want it to just look, I want it to be static so I know which, which way I'm going. HUD mode, normal. I might change these later, uh, but I'm going to keep them as is for now. Alright, so far pretty much the same. Never imagined this was all deep beneath Hyrule Castle. So, again, I didn't stream Breath of the Wild. The Breath of the Wild and the Switch came out in 2017. I was streaming by then, but I didn't get a capture card until I had my job two years later. So I wasn't streaming Switch games. In fact, the first Switch game I streamed fully was uh, the Link's Awakening remake, which uh, I remember... After coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Alright, there's our plot hook. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. We'll keep going. With it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go solve this mystery. Sorry, my neck cracked quite a bit there. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. 
But yeah, I didn't stream. Uh, I didn't stream Breath of the Wild. The first full game I streamed was was the Link's Awakening remake, which I remember I had so many technical issues with that first stream because the audio was like not working right. In fact, come to think of it, I didn't really even fix the audio fully until like last year because I realized that the, the, everything was, something was routed incorrectly. So uh, I managed to finally fix that. But yeah, there was definitely audio issues with uh, Link's Awakening when I first started it. That game was fun, but... Hmm. Okay. Master Sword's uh, doing the glowy thing. Link! The Master Sword. Okay. It must be sensing something. I knew we had reason for concern. Ever since the end of the Calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. Hmm. But I never have imagined anything like these tunnels were hiding here. Uh. We must be careful as we move deeper. Wow, they really want you to feel powerful here. They have, like, they give you, like, all the full upgrades. I wonder... No, because you don't have full hearts. I didn't have full hearts in Breath of the Wild. I'm like, does it say carry over save data? No. There is something... There are a few things I know of that do carry over if you have save data from Breath of the Wild, but uh, this is not... Your setup is not one of them. When I was a child, I asked my father if there was anything below the castle. He told me there was, though seeing it for ourselves or even discussing the matter was forbidden. No one in our family mo no one in our family knew anything more than that. I recall what my father said even now, no one must ever venture beneath the castle, not even one of us. He said this warning had been passed down through my family for as long as anyone could remember. We need to continue to explore this area, forbidden or not. The source of the gloom is down here somewhere. Link, look here. These are ruins from an ancient civilization. Wait, something's written here. Might these ruins be from the Zonai? There was something to examine there and I didn't see it. Oh, maybe I hit the A button and that's what activated that. I'm determined to discover the connection between this place and the emergence of the gloom. These carvings, okay, this is like not a good time for me to, to, to speak candidly because there's so many stopping points. I'm sure they're the I'm sure there's Zonai in origin. I've seen designs like this in my studies. Zonai are said to have lived long ago in the time of the earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had prosperous civilization in the sky. Many Oh, she's taking pictures with the Sheikah Slate. I'm like, what's that noise? <laughs> many history books tell us about the Zonai, but none give us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. There's statues here. Hmm. Is this what the Zonai look like? They seem so different than us, and such large ears. How do the ruins from a civilization in the sky end up here beneath the castle? Looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue. <laughs> Link just can... Continuing his, uh, his Spider-Man habit and just climbing on everything. Hmm. Wounds we're seeing down here. I'm certain this all must be from the Zonai civilization. Wait, my sword's not reacting to anything anymore. Oh, now it is again. That was weird. It, like, glue... Gl not it hurt. Are you, Link? Link, answer her. <laughs> Look at these murals. The written histories of the royal family. Include stories of a great war fought long ago. 
It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Meladius from Spirit Tracks. Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? It's Meladius or Meladius? This is similar to the statues we saw earlier. A Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. It is said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, Born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish the kingdom of Hyrule. Hmm. This figure. He seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. And then this, it shows the demon king. And a fierce battle against him. Now are they talking about Ganondorf or are they talking about Demise specifically? If the creature depicted here really does represent the demon king, then... Incredible. This mural must be the great war recorded in the royal histories. This is the imprisoning war and the events that led up to it. Link, this is a huge discovery. Yeah, I like that she's she's like excited about this rather than like like, you know, now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. <laughs> it's so easy to record. You point it and click. Oh. Like that's just clearly a switch. Well, it looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. Well, Link, put on your gauntlets and lift them. Th those could be bombed. They got cracks in them. Just what is this place? <laughs> it's not. Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. Well, no, I think that is the Sheikah Slate. Uh, or, I don't know. Because Link doesn't have it right now. Uh -huh. I can't tell you how excited I am. Murals down here, their images support so much of what historians have written about. It. I, I mean, yeah, again, I, I like that they, you know, portray Zelda as being, like, super into this rather than being like, okay, take care of the malice or the gloom first, then we'll look at this. It's like, no. She's excited about this. She's going to be looking at it. <laughs> oh, right. I forgot. Throwing a weapon with the Master Sword makes you do the... Uh... Make sure to do a sword beam. <sighs> Cynthia charging in from out of nowhere from Sinnoh. Yeah, I could kind of see that. I could kind of see that, that attitude being similar. I find myself wondering, how did this area come to be so forgotten? Why was our history left hidden here? Did the royal family in those ancient times want this place and these murals to remain secret and out of sight? No, wait, I have a question. If I log... Oh, it only logs that conversation. All right. I can't shake the feeling that I'm missing something here. Why would anyone want to keep this whole area secret? It can't be because of what's shown in these murals. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is, just because this is going to be a very cutscene-heavy first part, um, I'm going to save all the, the stuff about, like, stream history and, and, tri and what happened on the trip and stuff. I'll save that for later, like when I come back from dinner. Uh, I think for this first segment, we'll just just have it be, you know, gameplay, and we'll, we'll focus on that. Unless someone asks me a question, like, specifically relating to any of that stuff. 
I can only hope we'll find more answers farther below. The moon is growing heavier as we go. It's more and more unnerving. Not as unnerving as your boyfriend just like sticking to the wall there. Audio direction's really good. I like how how weird and intense it's getting. But yeah, I I have the DLC for Breath of the Wild. I never played it. I, I bought I only bought it a week ago. I was gonna play it leading up to this, and I never got time to. At some point, I'll go back and do it. I, I keep thinking like, well, now that I have this, I'm never gonna go back to Breath of the Wild. But that's probably not true. What is this place? What is this place? Let's continue, Link, but we must be extremely careful. Not yet. Yeah, well, let's go. Oh, I see. It's going to start the cutscene either way. Okay. What is that? You've heard of Calamity Ganon. Now get ready for Dehydrated Ganon. Huh? Is there a rumble? I can't feel it if there was. And then my controller in my hand. Oh, there is. I can feel the heartbeat. Conveniently leaving him with three hundred. <laughs> I love how that was like portrayed through the UI. Actually, that was really funny. It's like almost, it's almost comical. Ooh. Link. Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. Zelda. Carries that fragile sword, a link. Raru placed his faith in you, and that was all you could do. How do you know our names? If he ever actually says, How do you want to do this during the game? I will shit an entire house. I like how the clouds look like they're kind of like that Wind Waker CGI or CDI CDI CGI cell shaded style. Little dust clouds. So it was all him. Alright, so setup's pretty straightforward so far. It's pretty much exactly what people thought it was going to be in terms of like how this went down at the beginning. 
very interesting that it was it was kind of made so clear in those earlier trailers, and we were all like, oh, well, what could all this mean? It's like, nope, you're just taking it all literally. Every, every bit of this is meant to be taken, <laughs> taken at face value. I do wonder why the Master Sword was so weak there, though. Like, because if this is post Breath of the Wild, it should presumably have had the same, you know, the power needed to to pretty much banish any darkness at that point. So, uh, who's to say? Maybe we'll figure that out as we go along here. God, that look is so cool. I love that look for him. Link, finally you wake. Should trim those nails a little bit before we get adventure in here. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Thank God you had 30 hearts on hand to absorb that blow. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. You know, anyone else would freak out about that? Link's just like, yeah, okay, sure. I could still use it, that's all that matters. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want run to be on, on X, I'm not going to switch that. Running I prefer on B, I don't mind jumping, because you don't jump as often as you run. Decayed Master Sword. The sword seals the darkness. Its sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath Hyrule Castle. Yeah. <sighs> Looks longer there than it did uh, when you just picked it up. Okay, attack with Y, we already know that. And of course his stamina has lost all of it. See, this is the thing though, if, the, if Link had 30 hearts and 3 full stamina wheels at the beginning of this, then that's implied that this does, that the DLC is canon. That's the only way you could get all full of everything. Otherwise you're, you're 3 upgrades short. So, the Master Sword should have been at full power here. That's what I might do off stream for like the first few streams of this. I might just uh, finish the Breath of the Wild DLC instead. I like a lynx drip through this whole cutscene because I stepped in the water. He doesn't really have any way of drying himself off, so... I have no one to blame there but myself. <laughs> I think, like, it prolonged the animation because I'm because that cutscene was happening. Because I don't think this lasts that long. Well, actually, I don't know. Looks a sweaty boy. Okay. 
Imagine how painful walking around here must be on his bare feet. might speed up the camera a little bit. It feels a little too clunky uh, at its current speed. Actually, that's what I should be doing. I, I keep getting them confused. I should be doing camera motion, uh, camera sensitivity high, and then using the motion aiming for the precise stuff. Oh, if you press A, it like, goes forward. Okay. There's no indication of, like, how many menus there are. It's better. Let me, let me see very high, just for a brief moment. I don't know. That's not that much... It's not that high, honestly. B is also put away. Okay. Yeah, honestly, I could deal with the, I could deal with very high. That's probably ideal. It's just a little choppy. The frame rate. Landing in warrior from a great height will prevent you from taking fall damage. Okay. Nothing unusual there. Very, uh, very much standard fare. I'm gonna check. Let's see. Okay, no, it's just my stream preview. I think it's I think it's a lot less choppy on the actual stream. OBS can't handle it. Archaic legwear, simple classic legwear. They're well worn and showing their age, but they still got a good few years left in them. It can be a bit cumbersome to have to tie the straps. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, you could bre you could barely see the. Uh the icons at the top. Alright, no more undies. It comes with shoes, too. That's nice. No more hurting my feet. One of the dragons. Ooh, wow. Was basically what does this button do? I gotta say, this game knows how to make a good first impression. Great Sky Island. Oh, I don't have any. I don't have any sort of map because you don't start the game with the Sheikah slate. Hmm. to rewrite the timeline again. <laughs>
Any attack that causes your weapon to break becomes a critical hit, dealing two times damage. A papple. Okay, so now I don't have any weapons. That's not good. Well, the game just made this the book out of date, really. I don't I don't know exactly where how yet. Sky Shroom. There's something else I could take. Oh, the tree branch. There we go. When branches are like this are pretty common. They're surprisingly low. It doesn't do as much damage, but can serve as a weapon in a pinch. Got it. Alright, that's when I jump. I'm strafing. Ow. Looks cool. Yeah, it does. Soldier construct horn. But like hold. Uh, for sure. Okay. So when I charge, strange light seems to reveal potent energy. It's a morph ball. Material is a power source. Okay. I'll say it does. The game does a very good job of coming off more hostile than Breath of the Wild does in the, in the first uh, opening bit. Press and hold, and then so. Oh, okay. It was, it was like that from before. I think if it's glowing, that means it's at perfect uh, durability for what it is. I should probably stick close to the pads right now. I don't think... I think I should probably, like, not go too far off the beaten path for the moment. But also... Also... There's this branch here, and... and there's something up here. There's a dove. Wooden stick. Tree branch with an added grip for excellent balance. Equip it and use it as a weapon. Cool. By type. Wait, by type? That, that's the only way you could sort it. I'm guessing there's no way to go back down to the surface right now, because I don't have the sailcloth. So it's like, the, this is like the Great Plateau, essentially, where it's just like you're stuck here until you, uh, do the mandatory tutorials. Manda tutorial. Broom? It's gonna be a cleaning robot. Link, I have waited for you. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. Oh. Wait, what? This is the Pura Pad. <laughs> I am told it is an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. So where's the Sheikah Slate? What happened to that? <laughs> I love it. It's just a switch with very ornate bezeling on it. Princess Zelda's prize device has a variety of features that are essential for adventure. Alright, so just from that dialogue alone, I'm already... I'm already I'm already taking a, a pretty solid guess on what's happening here. Um, and obviously, you don't have to tell me if I'm right or wrong, but this might obviously be a spoiler. We're, we're looking at a robo situation. Where, where she's now in the past, and she's leaving shit for Link in the present. Like, that's that's clearly what this is implying, right? Well, don't answer that. You could just ignore that I, I, I even brought that up. I received it from Princess Zelda. I have now passed it on to you. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location marked on its map. My message has been delivered. Where am I? We stand in the Garden of Time. The Temple of Time is visible from here. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. But no more. Now it is a lonely place. No one visits. If 
Divine Princess Zelda. Yes, this is the Garden of Time. The structure visible to the north is Temple of Time. Okay, yeah. Alright, so we got our HUD. Uh, temperature, sound gauge. It's the same as before, except now you get coordinates on the mini-map down there. You get to see your X, Y, and Z position. I don't know if I'll keep it on. I know uh, when my brother played through Breath of the Wild, he kept the, the HUD on Pro Mode, and it was a fair bit more immersive as a result. Tree branch. Materials. Can you amiibo now? I Probably not, because I know the amiibo in this game don't give you clothing. Instead, it gives you the sailcloth designs. And since I don't have the sailcloth yet, I'm, I'm guessing probably not. Or maybe, I don't know. Yeah, can't, can't use it till you reach a certain point. I think you... you no, I don't think they give you outfits in this game. I, I don't think... I don't know how many outfits there are, but I don't think there's a ton of them. Unlike, uh... Unlike before... Before... Actually, maybe there are, but I don't know. I just realized there are... There are... <laughs> you do get them, so it's like, wait, what am I saying? Probably not. Probably wrong. There's something to pick up here, and I... Oh, wow, what was it? Okay, arm does stuff, activate thing, go forward. No, I can't, because because even if they can give you outfits, they I believe the most of them give you uh, sailcloth designs. And since I don't have access to the sailcloth yet, it's probably not going to work. Yeah, no, it's like that. It was like that in Breath of the Wild as well. Um, the champion amiibo didn't always drop their helms. You had to sometimes just save scum until you got it. If I do that, I'm doing it off-stream. I'm not going to waste time doing it now. Oh, cool. It's like the broken uh, Guardians just giving you shit. I see snow over there. Your behavior is a threat. Hello, you seem to be new here. Be wary of soldier constructs as you travel this way. Soldier constructs are those of us given strict orders to protect this land. The Zonai who created us directed them to eliminate trespassers. They will consider you a trespasser too. You must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. Yeah, sure. It is crucial to maintain a proper distance and target your opponents. Swinging haphazardly will not yield results. Cloud just literally went through us. ZL for lock-on. You may practice targeting on me if you want. Oh, but please do not actually attack. <laughs> Danger! Tread carefully around us. Okay. You can throw the weapon in your hand, press R to, and press and release R. Oh, there's an apple back here. It's cute. Yeah, it is cute. The, the, they are cute. Little goat ro goat. They're like giraffes almost. Okay, cool. There's a bunch of apples in there that somehow haven't rotted. All right, I could probably just yeah. Can't hurt to have too many of those. very calming about all this.
It's this, like, semi-fall aesthetic. Not even really fall, it's just... Just yellow. Oh my gosh. Oh, I didn't take this out once this entire time. Mind you, if you're there, where you are, actually. Oh, that's nice. Doesn't usually get this yellow around here in the fall. Feature not available yet. Find yourself on a strange island after the sky of your rogue. Steward construct can claim that Princess Zelda gave it the pearl pad. All to get it into your hands. The device's map shows a yellow point of light. Construct said that's where you'll remove, you'll find the princess. Okay, so you could set objective like the previous game. Stamp or pen. You get 300 stamps in this game. Okay. That's that's a stark uh, upgrade from Breath of the Wild. I think you only got like like 50 in that. Still only get six pins, but okay. 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Current things are on the right. Okay. Album. Oh, <laughs> I like this. The photos that uh, Zelda took are here. There's like a little icon next to two of those, though. Full screen. Oh, it just means go left and right. Sorry. I thought there was like a play button. Feature not yet available. Okay. You know, I never put that together in the first game. I didn't think that the like the HUD that you had was based on the uh, on on the fact that you have the Sheikah slate because you get it right at the beginning. So it's like you wouldn't think that it meant anything. You would think, oh, it's just the game's HUD. It's like no, it's what's in the uh, the device you just got. Okay, uh, let me start tossing some wooden st some tree branches here. Yeah, when I said you can't have too many weapons, I obviously was not telling the truth. Obviously, you can very much have too many weapons. What? Oh. Come here. Come here. Bird, come here. Stop. No good. I'm lacking the stamina. Knees weak, palms sweaty. Caught on all the geometry. Really good. Okay, I'm gonna give this like one more minute and then I'm gonna give up on it. I thought it was gonna stop moving. Alright, now. Nah. Can't make that happen right now. I need more stamina. I know this is how slow Link moved in the previous game when he was walking, but man, it is, uh, it feels slow. I see a ball over there. I see a sphere. That's, I think they've shown that in the trailers. I think that's where the gotcha machine is. That you could get materials out of. Uh-oh. Two of them. Three of them! Uh-oh. No, 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 no. We gotta, we gotta... Eliminate threat. Long stick. Straight shape works well as a lunging weapon. Yeah, my stick. Speaking of sticks, definitely still getting some drift here. Um, I'll fix it after I go to dinner. So hopefully when I come back, uh, it won't happen anymore. Flurry rush still works. Yeah, I figured. I 
I just noticed the Master Sword has, has not come back yet at all. It doesn't have a timer either. I, th I think it's just done. I think, I think you just can't use it anymore. <laughs> Which is the funniest thing to me. I, li I like that. It's, it's very good, uh... Very good, uh, immersion there. Just like, yeah, no, this thing's useless. Don't use it. <laughs> just use that stick you find instead. It's better. Cooking good looking. Oh, I just realized Link's um ponytail got undone, so now his hair is just out. That's really good. I like that that's a good look on him. Hello, were you in lured in by the delicious smells? I assume so. Ingredients are especially fragrant when roasted by a fire. They may also be tastier and more nutritious. I would not know. Oh, you are unfamiliar to me. My apologies. Among my tasks is to explain everything that first-time visitors might require knowledge of. You may have questions about this place. Please rest assured that a construct can answer them. I recall that your question was about roasting food. I roast ingredients by placing them beside the fire. I do not eat, but I am given to understand that it improves the taste. Our creators roasted ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. Do you have ingredients? I invite you to use this fire to roast them. Tasty, toasty Sky Shroom. Simple grilled Sky Shroom. Heat brings out its flavor and increases the amount of health it can restore. It tastes good, so now it heals more. Dark tea to soften and sweeten this apple. I love baked apple. Not, not like... Like raw bait, like like not like just like an apple baked over a fire, but like when it's got the proper like seasoning on it and stuff, it's so good. Usually cinnamon. Highly doubt cooking this is gonna do anything. <laughs> it's probably fireproof, actually. Not not a smart idea on my end. So that's three quarters and half a heart. So those aren't too good, but still a little better than uh, what you get out of them raw. This is new. I've seen this on. I've, I saw this in the pre-release stuff. They actually like tell you what each dish is made of. It's the same thing. It just shows you an image of it. That's cool. Alright, well, select for recipe. Oh, cool! That's neat. Oh, it's gonna make cooking so much more, like, more intuitive. Far? Ah. Oh. Cool. Far out. Let's not waste too many of them, because you're prob probably going to need them for later. I think I got more than enough healing for now. The lilies and the water here are giving me Ancient Cistern vibes from uh, S Skyward Sword, which... I know, say what you want about Skyward Sword, that, that dungeon is like my favorite water dungeon in the entire series. It has not yet been topped in terms of in terms of aesthetic and music. Like after playing Breath of the Wild, I can definitely appreciate Skyward Sword's uh, dungeon design a bit, since you know Breath of the Wild didn't really have dungeons. Okay, see, I, now I'm hitting the wrong button. There we go. Oh, 
Old wooden shield, aged worn out wooden shield can withstand lighter attacks such as arrows. Rusty broadsword, once fearsome sword has been seen better days. Thought you can oh you could replace it there, but not okay. Just drop these and make room. I could slice uh, grass now, at least. Maybe find wheat later. <laughs> wow, it's bright. There's a time of day thing, too, but I think it's set right now. Probably probably set to just be... It's, it's like newer Pokemon games, where it's like beginning of the game is always set time of day until the actual, like, exploration oh. kicks off. Oh, denied. That door will open only to those with sufficient power. I'm sorry... I did not intend to startle you. There he is. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. I'm dead now, so I don't need I am it. <laughs> Source of the right arm. That's a hell of a title. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. Yeah, he's voiced by Chris Hackney. You be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. I wish this game did what Metal Gear Solid does and show the voice actor name when the character name pops up. Why not visit the shrines on this island? Ah. The shrines. Yes, I'm sure they are the key. Well, wow. that shield is like really like do you see the bat links back there? That stuff was like not attached to him. Oh, because it's all, like, attached by one strap. Like, the shield's just kind of floating there, though. No, you idiot. What did I just tell you? Oh, God, they actually make you watch this again. You skip it? No. Wow, this truly just is the Great Plateau, but, but again... Press A on an active quest to display its waypoint on the map. Waypoints on the map. Uh, a green light spirals above each of them. Okay, so it's not gonna tell me where exactly to go. I'm gonna have to just kind of eyeball it. Oh, now there's time time of day too. 4:50 p.m. Okay, so we got one there, uh, and that's it. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Restless Cricket. Cook it with monster parts to create a stamina recovery elixir. Nice. Noisy Cricket. Alright, you know what? I know I'm being super hypocritical with what I just said. I'm gonna enable Swap Jump and see how that works out for me. Okay, so B... Arrow? Oh. Cool, I'll take him. Alright, so now B is jump and X is run. Let's see how that works out. Oh. 
Definitely feels better for trying to do Flurry Rush, I'll say that. Old wooden bow. A wooden bow from olden days is built for hunting, but not very powerful. Press ZR to pull the bow. Yeah. Five arrows. Eh, it's gonna break, but I'll keep it on hand. Oh, but now X has put the weapon... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to... It, it's inconvenient no matter which way it's set up, but I'm gonna have to uh, get used to it. The worst is running and jumping, because... B and X are on the opposite ends of the of the diamond. So that's going to be a problem no matter which way I have it uh, sliced here. No, noisy cricket, come back, I need you. Okay, so we got that. Oh, that's how you whistle. Food... Well, not, that's not even food, that's just items. Shield. How do I equip the bow? Bows and arrows. Common arrow, wooden bow. Oh, it's already equipped, alright. Gyro aiming is pretty good. Even on high sensitivity. I think the sensitivity is shared between both. Uh, yeah. Definitely a little looser on very high. Maybe I'll turn it down. Maybe I'll just make a slight concession here and turn this down to high just to be... Yeah, that feels good. Mushroom. Collected a fair bit of those back in the day. Wait, my, why am I wet? Did I go in the water? Okay. That's interesting. Seems some shenanigans here. Just gotta get down to those stairs. Just don't wanna jump. There we go. Knew that was gonna I knew that was gonna do a critical hit. Good, good, good. They wouldn't make enemies with giant eyeballs in the center of their like one giant eyeball in the center of their head and then not have that be a weak point. That would just be silly game design. treat for exploring. Uh, oh. Right, I forgot. Walls, uh, walls are a suggestion, not a, uh, a hindrance. Shenanigans over here. I have a feeling I know exactly what's going to happen in this shrine that I'm coming up on. Cool shrine. So in in the in Breath of the Wild, all the shrines were anagrams of people that like worked on the game. So 
So I'm wondering what the shrines are uh, named after this time. I imagine something different because it's different technology, so it's like the naming convention can be different. I'm guessing the blue is fast travel points. And that... Whoa. Okay, that's... That's weird. That's cool. So instead of an elevator into a physical space, it's literally like a different dimension. Check the screen for hints and tricks. That won't matter because the game's already loaded. That's nice. The, the, the Breath of the Wild's load times were uh, rather hefty. So you've made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. Mind you, the Clockwork Room Dimensional Gate and Skyward Sword. That thing was cool. I loved how that. I love the visual on that. Looks really good in the HD remake. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. I mean, my right arm. It's it's your whatever. Now then, extend your hand. I'm so chill for just going along with this. Grab a little bit of planters here real quick. A little bag of trail mix from my trip that I didn't finish yet. And I'm a little hungry. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, we got a bunch of food for our hotel room. And I have this leftover bag of peanut butter tra chocolate trail mix. So I'm just kind of munching on that when I can. Grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. Ultra hand. We're going to grill off, baby. This is the ultra hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you'll be able to build a great number of things. Really, anything you can imagine. Use Ultra Hand and receive the blessing from the shrine. Yeah, I like that the abilities that they've shown off for this game, they're they're like the Breath of the Wild abilities, but just different enough that they have new functions to it. Like, new utility. The ability to create. Okay, so we got Ultra Hand. I know, I know we could pro- I think we could get Amiibo now. Nope, never mind. I, I guess you really just do need the cell cloth, huh? Oh, it goes into aim. It goes into aim mode. Okay. Just no, no cryonis out in that analog though. No. Nah. So up and down, forward and back. Rotate, hold R. So this is the thing I've known. Some people apparently had issues with this. ZL to reset. Vertical orientation, horizontal rotation. It's not too hard to figure out. Already attach. I, the, it's interesting. The game doesn't really tell you to do that. You just kind of, kind of figured out. Okay, now this is a little confusing. Why is it? Mighty seal it close. No! Why did I throw that? How did that happen? Flex seal, mighty seal, whatever it's called. I don't know. I don't use that shit. So, what, like, 
What is this goop? What is it? I see a platform up there, and nothing to grab it with. Except I do. I already have this from before. What's stopping me from using it again? And I'll do it again, too. Go. Unstick by wiggling, really? Oh, I'm not gonna do that yet. Fossilized resin with a caramel-esque sheen to it. Been valued as a component in decorations of Amber Time. Boom, I made a bridge, took like 10 seconds. <laughs> so I wanna see this. So unstick is Oh yeah. You just wiggle it and the and the goo comes apart. That's interesting. Okay, yeah. Running on X is slowly getting to be more natural for me here. Huh, alright. Got a hook. We got... Oh! That hook's already uh, attached here. Interesting. Huh. So she's just here by fusing the first three planks into one long piece, yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, I think I know what. I think I know how this works. That's why that thing's floating up there to, to pretty much spell it out for you. Neat. Wrong shoulder button. Uh, okay. Oh! I get it. Not like that. <laughs> It's a little clunky, but also really cool. Like this Zen garden here. Done well to reach this place. It's a Hylian and a Zonai hand in hand. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Jawbreaker of Destiny. that glows with light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. Okay. I'm guessing that's the upgrade item in this game. 
May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Lord, give me strength. That's landing in deep water will prevent you from taking fall damage. Oh my god, those low times are so much better. You did very well getting through that shrine, and you restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins, then you'll never lose track of where they are. The Purapad offers you a very useful scope. It's quite handy. How do you know what that is? The scope and pins. You distant things and mark them with pins. Okay. So you can kind of go in like increments. Increments. That bitch, I know plenty, yeah. As if Link wasn't doing this the entire time in the last game. But I, like, don't see... Oh, they only appear visible... Okay. I got it. Alright. Get ready to grill off with Ultra Hand here. It's not too bad when you just want to attach things. When you want to go, like, full... that. I, I was asking for that. I really was. <laughs> you lose a heart for that, too. Okay, so 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Bell rings. Oh, okay. You can angle pieces. That's interesting. pointless. Oh, yeah. Apple. Gotta just remind myself I don't have the sailcloth. It's not gonna help me here. <laughs> Wood. A coffin? No. Fix your gaze forward. Face it head on. Hmm? Pardon me. I was absorbed in my wood cutting. Are you here for wood cutting too? It's the practice of chopping down trees to create logs. Logs can be combined to assemble platforms. You can also chop them down further to make wood. Lumber has many uses. This is why I usually come here daily to chop wood. Wood? Wood? Rude. 
and yet I still find it difficult to chop them down in the intended direction. That is why you may have heard me muttering to myself, fix your, fo fix your gaze forward, face head on. I apologize. I've been rambling for some time. There's an axe I no longer need over there. It is yours to use if you want to do some woodcutting. Acorn? Squirrels adore this nut, so you may have competition while foraging. Add one to a meal for a nutty seasoning. Korok frond. Mysterious leaf that looks like it might be hiding something behind it. It has some medicinal value. Attached to a stick and it can be used as a fan. I see they're still at work even now. We originally created the constructs to assist in our endeavors. All of us were fond of them. I never imagined they would continue to carry out their assigned tasks to this day. The fact that their labor no longer serves any purpose, yet they pre still perform it, is quite disquieting to me. <laughs> I'm just wasting stamina by doing that. Probably... Do this. Yeah. Wow, one arrow. Okay, so that hook was clearly meant to use for it to make, like, a, a platform that could come down here. That's cool. See, even though I'm looking in the general direction. Oh, it's up there. I like that they made the sound of opening the pad more subtle, like a, li a little, a little quieter than uh. The Sheikah Slate, because I guess people got sick of hearing that noise every two seconds. No. Oh, look! It's like a little... put like a divot here. Perfect. it from that end. Link keeps getting on top of it. There we go. Nope. Eh, we're good. We're good. No! Uh. thought this thing would be a, li a little sturdier. then 
four logs uh, magically appeared over here. Oh, this whole boat is just one item. Okay. I know my behavior is a threat, but you were you were chopping that tree for like an hour, and I need it. Alright, I accomplished something by doing that, I guess. I don't know what. I guess I can get over there, but I can also just walk. <laughs> There's no point in me taking a boat over there. Shh, quiet. I'm engaged in hunting. Yes, I hunt wild creatures that inhabit the forest. Hmm? I do not remember seeing you here before. We constructs fulfill several roles. One is to provide any necessary explanations to newcomers such as yourself. Other constructs you meet will be able to answer questions you may have about other subjects. My specialty is hunting. To hunt is to dispatch wild creatures. Many of them dwell within the forest. They are highly nutritious to organic life. They are also extremely wary. A hunter must not make noise. Crouching is essential for silence. A bow can be used to strike from afar. Aiming for weak spots is the best. I will give you the bow placed over there. Use it as you please. Over there? Over where? Things done. All oh, right, here. Old wooden bow. Oh, you can hold on. Pressing X, you could slick. Oh wait, no. That's interesting. So you could like hold it, but not fire it while still having the thing active. Interesting. Okay.
could have pulled off. At least I'm not hurting for arrows right now. <laughs> Thank you. Raw meat. Yeah. I'll be holding on to that for a bit. We're gonna need something to get through there later, but you now just heading south is probably what I should be doing. Your stamina never feels slower. A lot of these blocks here that seemingly do nothing. I love this view of the Temple of Time. I always took a moment to appreciate it whenever I passed by here. The Garden of Time was quiet. The only sound to be heard was the time bell ringing in the mornings and evenings. It was just the whole place changed at its chime, especially at night when the sound signaled the emergence of fireflies. Mm. Those were glorious times. Hey, speaking of... batch will also be tasty. Pardon me for not noticing you. I was absorbed in preparing my next meal. Hmm. I do not recall having seen you before today. I must do doubly apologize for my inattentiveness. It is the duty of a construct to field any questions that those such as yourself may have. You may pose those questions at any time. At any construct. We will answer them the best as we can. Are you interested in my cooking? Ah, you seem to be uneducated when it comes to cooking. Very well. You will learn how to create a meal on your own. <laughs> Educate me. Cooking step one, hold the ingredient in your arms. Step two, throw them into a pot over a lit fire. Cooking complete. That is a simple version. The world of cooking can be as complex as you want. There are many possible dishes. What make and what effect you gain depends on the ingredients used. Some meals are warming, others may replenish stamina. Tiny organisms known as critters and monster parts are not food. Save them as the base for elixirs. This information was provided by our creators, but I cannot eat, so take it with a grain of salt. Food joke. I will remain stationed here. Ask me any time you have further questions about cooking. Oh dear, it is already late. I was too absorbed in cooking to watch to notice. Yeah, I am Bender. Please insert girder. Yeah, exactly. I will rest until the next time you the next time bell. Do not let that dissuade you if you have questions. And when you can't make meals and elixirs, both consumables can for a variety of effects. Uh... Toss my and monster parts. The pot process is the same, only the materials differ. Do not mix them with cooking greens. The results are unappetizing. Some results are warming, others may. Okay. Restless cr crickets are used to restore vigor. Okay. Pass the time by the fire, sit, fi sit until we're good. We're not going to do anything with that. Buttons, how do I... Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> a little whistle, whistle, a little, uh, not whistle, hum. He hummed the, uh, main theme. Grants a low-level movement beast, speed beast. B -b 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 what? Grants a low-level movement speed boost. This simple mushroom pack skewer has its colorful presentation to thank for its appeal. Speed up two minutes heals five hearts. Five hits. Well, not five hits. It's more like two full hearts. I'm just excited to play. Oh, it actually shows you uh, your Zonai abilities up there. That's cool. Alright, just because you know we got to do this once. Uh. It's too gross to even look at. A bizarre smell issues forth from this heap. Eating it won't hurt you, though. Probably. So bad it has to be censored. So I don't want to cook the mon these monster parts because they usually don't result in much. I'm curious what happens if you just cook a piece of wood. Rock hard food. A dish gone awry after adding the wrong ingredient. Chewing your way through this won't be fun. But it will fill you up when you're between a rock and a hard place. Remember in uh, Age of Calamity, when Link would just... Like, he would get offered, like, a like a Goron rock food, and he would just bite into it? He, he, he would give no fucks. This actually refills a whole heart. This does not... Ingredient. Oh, I see. So it only lists ingredients used to make it like the previous time. Hmm. Bird noise is very weird. Raw bird drumstick. Meat is tougher and chewier than a standard steak. Tastes better cooked. Hot foot frog. Click with monster parts to draw out its speed boost effect. Ancient arowana. Lively fish doesn't change much since ancient times. Some delicious meat can also restore a bit of health. I went swimming uh, while I was in Atlanta. It was really nice. I haven't had uh, I, I had to buy a new swimsuit because I literally have not been swimming in many, many, many years. I don't think you get the fireflies. They seem to just leave when you get close to them. Which is... Oh no, you can. Sunset fireflies. Glows gently in the dark. When cooked with monster parts, the compound that causes its glow. What's an elixir that allows you to move more quietly? Just be popping those real quick. Stand bulb. Wild plant with bulging roots often found in cooler climates. Contains nutrients that increase endurance. Okay. Wow. 
Oh, this is a big tree. There's something hidden in it. It's gotta be. Bird egg. Fresh egg for necessary for making dishes such as omelets and crepes. You could snag them from birds nests if you're sneaky. Fish and delicious, perfect for cooking. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to swim that. I'm gonna have to make a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Yeah. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. It's like a small little island. It was, it was too smoky before. I couldn't see over there. We only need two logs. Two logs is fine too. Oh, there's something over there that I could grab. Uh oh. Let's grab ingredients. Stam Stamellish room. Hello, nice to meet you. Thank you, uh, thank thank you, Celine, for suggesting people to me. How you doing? What's up? Like this. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> no. Why is it like that? There we go. Doing Jim Dandy. Thanks for asking. That's that's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Welcome to the stream. This is kind of chill right now. I'm gonna be stopping in like a little less than an hour. To, no, no, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stay here. Stay here until I get the guy on you. I'm going to be stopping in about an hour to eat, but uh, I'm probably going to be coming back very shortly after that and just streaming again pretty much the rest of the evening. Oof. <laughs> okay, hopefully I stay on this while this is going down. at last. Thanks. I'd like to give you something, but here's all I have. Thank you for the poop. Yeah. Bye. I like that they give you one per Korok involved in this, at least. That's good. Yeah. Well, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Okay, so I could use that same thing to go back over there. Uh, or I could build a new one.
I guess I haven't really mentioned it. I was gonna mention it later. I, I will. I'm gonna do another, like, stream ramble before the next part, probably. But, uh, today is also... Today is technically... Not, not the actual date, but it's what I'm considering the stream affiliate anniversary, which Twitch does incentivize celebrating now. I think when you come into the chat, it actually mentions something about it. I was like, what is that? If only there were bombs. Doesn't look like there are, though. Something tells me that this was purposely set up so that I would come over here and get this, uh, mast. Click that on there. Actually, no. Before I do that, let's grab another log and stick it to it. There we go. I got a decent length one. Yeah, that, that lake looks like I'm not going to be able to swim that. That looks like it's going to require a device. Ooh, frame rates are chugging a little bit. Uh-oh. Drop it, drop it, drop, drop, drop. Thick stick. Thick back cut from a tree. Does not, it's not the sturdiest weapon, but its heavy end does have a bit of power for it. Before, 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 blah, 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 blah. Two axes. When did that happen? Thick stick. Oh, it's a different weapon type. Oh, it's big. Okay. Wish it didn't end with the slam down. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> That's a good one. Memorable moment from the Star Wars prequels, along with, um, along with... A any Palpatine noise. Two-handed stone axe. Unusable in the state, but applying a bit of elemental stimulation may change its form. So choo-choo jelly in this game, extremely useful. From what I've been led to believe. on the edge here, but I'm sure that... I'm sure there's stuff hidden on these islands, but... The most important thing is that we head over there, and then we head over there. It, it's, it's kind of designed to go in a circle. Those yellow bits are where we were before. That's the upper area. Alright, hold on. No. We don't want to go it like this. Uh...
It's moving on its own, which I didn't think I would need to do. Oh, there's wind. Okay. That's interesting. Didn't I get a core? Oh, no, I got a Korok frond. That's an ingredient. That's not a... That's not a... Yeah, right there. That's not the same as a Korok leaf. Yeah, that would have been too far to swim on the initial stamina. You've arrived at your destination. So you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. Take another point as break. What's happening? Got a single M&M &M from that one. Fuse! Attach something to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it. You can undo the fusion, but that will destroy whatever's been attached. Mm. This is the fuse ability. It allows you to fuse something nearby to your weapon or shield. Shield? Thereby enhancing it. Why not pick up that sword just ahead and then fuse an object nearby to it? Mm. Use fuse and receive the blessing from the shrine. Quickly set an ability. The ability to combine Ina Isa Shrine. Inisa Shrine, excuse me. Oh, I can use Amiibo now. Yeah, Amiibo enabled. Let's see some. What's the save file situation look like? Okay. Same as Breath of the Wild. One main save, five auto saves. It says I can use it, but I can't select it. So, probably can't use it in the shrine. Rusty Claymore. Two-handed sword not properly cared for, although it can be used as a weapon. Its durability is very low. Don't expect it to last more than a few strikes. Oh, I need, I need to make room here. Uh, Alright, drop the wooden stick. Plus two attack. Neat. Boulder plus hammer. So it doesn't count whatever's attached to it as like a thing. It, it's just it's just like okay, you've attached you've attached the boulder to it. 
That sounded like the unknown noise from a uh, Pokemon Gen 2. But I do drink. But I didn't. You have a wrecking ball and a stick. Yeah, kinda. Now I have a wrecking ball on my shield too. <laughs> oh my god! Doesn't say what it actually does though. By fuse attack power. Most used by type. Plus one attack. I look ridiculous. Oh my god. Select material to throw. No. Fuse has already been used on this. Fuse has already been used on this. Okay. Can I pull my shield out again? Who's going to get elemental arrows now? Yeah. Knocking the boat eats the material. Possibly. Uh, focus. Oh, there we go. Just ZL. I don't know how I messed that up. Yeah, Link, you can't really see over that. Firefruit, if you're the generates heat when struck, cooked correctly, its heating properties improve blood flow and stimulate muscles to raise attack power in high temperatures. Candles. It is weird that you have to do this per arrow, but I'm also not going to complain because that stops you from wasting materials at least. Small key? Keys keys in the Breath of the Wild universe? We can't do that. That's illegal. I had a feeling there was something up there, too. It's like, that looks like a crackable wall. More arrows. Wood. Does seem to increase durability a bit, but like, doesn't really tell you how. I think it's based on the fused item. Boulders are really durable, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay. We do a little combat. Oh, he's got arrows, too. That one creeped up on me. Sorry about that. You try mute when that happens. What is this? Oh. What the? Oh. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's try something here. Long stick. Long stick. Go boom. Spikes. There we go. Construct bow. Captain Construct, though simply built, it's made of fireproof materials, won't catch fire as wooden bows do. Captain Construct one horn. Wavy, double edged, blade like horns, formidable when it comes to slashing. Touch a weapon to increase attack power. Ah. Rock hammer. Oh, I see. So if it's a two-handed weapon, you put a boulder or a rock on it, it just gets classified as a hammer. That's interesting. Could be working. Could have belched loudly through your headphones. Hey, I've done that before. Not usually, though. I usually very wary about doing that on stream. Only do it for, uh... Only do it if there's an, a specific reason to do it. Wait, now that... That's weird. The material's there now. Wait, now it actually just... What? Okay. A little weird. Try shield surfing now. I it, I know it works differently, but I forget how you do it. Cleanse you, you is, wow, is this gonna be the whole scene every time? I guess we could skip it. Thought they would abbreviate it after the first time, but no. Seems to be the same. Hold Z on your controller to wield your shield while you can hold Z, jump with X, then hit A. Oh, right. That was it. I forgot there's like a confirm button for it. Ooh, 
Link. I came because there is something I failed to give you. Please take it. <clears throat> oh, power charges. You need that soon. Energy cell, a gift from a Zonai construct, designed to be worn in a belt. It can create and power Zonai devices. What I have just given you is an energy cell. It is required you to it was required to make use of the tools known as Zonai devices. I cannot demonstrate its utility because there are no Zonai devices right here. Uh, my voice is kind of worn out. However, I have associates on the other side of that cave system. They can teach you how to use this. I hope that the energy cell I provided is useful to you. Smashy wall near the shrine. Okay, let me get back up there. Five arrows. This looks like something you could use back here behind it, but... No. No. The Death Mountain down there? Something red directly below us. Oh, there's multiple red spots. Interesting. This looks like the whole Hyrule Hemp map here. It's going to be weird, though, because it's going to be all overlaid over the world below it. Maybe not. Maybe when you're on the ground, the, the Sky Islands get, like, transparent or something. There's a layer toggle on the map. Oh. Not right now, though. Hey, Spicy. How you doing? It's been a while. Thank you. Thank you for the well wishes. Oh, oh, I see. You guys just hate everything. Usually you'd be on when, I'm, when you're sleeping, yeah. I decided to start early today. I wanted to start even earlier, but I just couldn't wake up early enough. I didn't even order the lunch I said I was going to order today, but I, I was like, you know what? Why order it on a Tuesday when I'm already going to have, uh, like, dinner with my family? I'll wait until Friday when I'm not going to be here. Spiky Spear. This Boulder Hammer is about to, uh... Disappear. More enemies. All right. happened. Board Guster. And it's gone. <laughs> it burnt up. Been a rough week, but hanging in there. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm, I'm trying desperately to... Make this last day count before I go back to work. 
I'm, I'm really just not looking forward to doing that at all. Long story short, partner's dad is in hospital. Might be. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Shield who dis Have you just started? Yeah, I'm just starting now. I'm gonna actually stop in about 20 minutes and then I'm probably coming back after dinner. Not probably, I definitely am. <laughs> I want this is the only day ha I have to stream this long. I was get where's the weapon? Soldier Reaper, a tree branch with added grip for an excellent bounce. Equip it and use it as a weapon. Waste the durability on it. Hmm. You just beat the first dungeon, nice. Ultran looks like a wall master and it scares you. Try fusing Amber to my Reaper. Hmm. I only have one of each, so I kind of don't want to waste it, but... Wait, how do I actually do this? Uh... Fusion is fun. I'm enjoying- I'm enjoying the effects so far. I'm trying to figure out how to, uh... Oh, do I just drop it? Yeah. A little weird since you don't have to do that with the with the arrows, but fuse has already been used on this. Oh, the soldier reapers. You know why? Because the soldier reapers already um, made of a. Uh, it's already made of one of these construct horns. That's why. It's a horn and a stick put together. with a sword or something? I could. Not a shield. This self boat challenge did the whole tutorial era with no armor. Just link in his undies. Discovery! Pondside Cave. Okay. Bright bloom seeds. See this often found caves. Walls when struck it, it will take root and bloom. It often given off a faint light from a small flower. Blah, 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 blah. Uh-oh. Orb skin. The surrounding take advantage of their glaring awareness and each one attach one to an arrow to give it homing quality. Yep. Arrows and thrown weapons fly farther with this item attached. Okay. Yeah, I haven't found a shirt yet. I only found the uh, the, the the little skirt at the beginning. Cannot be eaten this form. Commonly used to season meals. Uh, yeah. What is that? Oh, oh, what?
Whole lump of salt, take a bite, yeah. I would do that. That's something I would do. Is that a ruby? Yep. Contained the power of fire and have fetched a high price since ancient times. See, now there's like a new... Like a whole new level to this because like you could sell it for money, but you could also... Use it in fusion. What? Bubble gem, a strange crystal left behind by defeated bubble frogs in caves. Its eerie glow may entice you to clue to collect even more. It's a new currency? It's a key item. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Don't know how many found two types of pants. Makes me thirsty just thinking about this, the salt. <laughs> My curiosity with the amber is if it adds an elemental quality to your weapons like rupees or opals do. Okay, I could see real quick. Something tells me it probably doesn't, but... Giant bright bloom seed. When struck, it'll take root and bloom, radiating a large amount of light from a big flower. Okay. And there's stuff over here, too. Let's grab all that. So if the game lets you hold unlimited... Like, materials, but weapons? No, you can't do that. Yes, the salt. <laughs> uh, well, I got two stone axes. We could try it with that. And I have multiple amber, so... Wait, what? St what do you mean fuse has already been used? Why? Have all my... Do all my weapons have fuse? Oh, yeah, they all have sticks on them, I think. How do I unfuse? Can't fuse with nothing equipped. Destroy the fuse material on them from the menu. Oh. <laughs> Plus four. If I had to guess, it gives it a... It must... It must yeah, I think it changed it. It changes it to a blade. I think it changes the property to now be a slashing weapon instead. That's cool, because the amber is all spiky. Wow, this game... This game's gonna get complex. This game has the potential to be, like, super, super complex. Uh, where? Over here. Now it's close range and swings as slow as a two-handed weapon, yeah. But it also has nine attack, which makes it way, way more, uh, powerful. I don't think they changed how damage works in this game. It's very flat in terms of, like, uh, calculation. That's why if you manage to get, like... Ch Chestel! Oh, hey, there's a tunic. Old-fashioned upper body wear. It's got some holes, but the soft cloth feels good to touch. It's hard to keep it wrinkle-free. Um, what was I going to say now? Basic. The monster parts are very strong, yeah. Shit, I forgot what I was going to say now. I, I completely... My mind's completely blank. Uh, also, that was the end of the cave, I think. Yeah. Oh, I need more tree branches. Mm. The steward constructs were the first ones to be built. After that, we crafted the others to suit different roles. Culinary constructs, maker constructs. You'll find all sorts of them still active in this place. Some became so skilled within their specialties that they surpassed us. We began to learn from them instead. You should take the time out to talk to them. They could teach you many things you might not know. Yet. Might not know yet. Uh, 
about Apple? Something about weapon system being really next level? I can't remember. I'm a Rory's a little goat, yeah. What's decency? <laughs> decency is when you have to put on those annoying cloths over your body so that people don't get upset at you. It's really dumb. Let me do that, but sure. You never have too much wood, especially in Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild, you need so much to do everything in that game. Big club plus log. Oh, you're right. I'm already... This is how many weapons I can hold, right? Yeah. Well, I can hold one more. Again, I love that the Master Sword just... It's just there now. You just can't get it back. Thick stick. It's like a... Looks like a... It looks like a popsicle. Yay, wood. <laughs> ah. We may have need of these parts. There are more materials near the water available for you to use. It is very difficult to rest peacefully when things like this happen. I am resting until the time bell rings. The Zonai devices by the water are still in working order if you need one. Uh, it seems you do not know of Zonai devices. There are necessities around here. Allow me to explain. This green thing is called a Zonai device. The one you see here is a fan. You could produce wind on demand by striking it. They are self-evidently useful. We have a variety of Zonai devices for multitu multitudinous purposes. Using Zonai devices does require energy. An external energy cell will be necessary in your case. Pardon the long explanation. It does not need. It does not change our need for a raft. Zonai devices are extremely useful. Think creatively and you will find many ways to employ them. Link has huge fans. Nerf bat on roids. Yeah. Oh, hey, you have a front fringe based on the Triforce. Really? Oh, yeah. At the bottom there. The rafts are broken. We are exhausted from trying to fix them. Currently, we are resting from this task. At least the Zonai device is undamaged. Yes, they are special tools that we employ. They are necessities here. I recommend that you learn how to use them. Ask the construct in front of the fan for details. I will return to my rest. We consider the problem at dawn after resting. Yeah. We're looking on space here. Okay, so we need to get across here. I'm confused. Did I did I land here or up here? I thought I jumped down. Yeah, I jumped down onto there. So wait, how did I get there? That must be where I land. That's where I landed. That's where I landed. I've been searching for bears in Tears of the Kingdom, but no luck. I mean, I've only found birds so far. <laughs> and I have thoroughly destroyed them for my own gain. Did you switch jump and, and, and run? Because I did, and it's... Still tripping me up. Birds have a whole race. True. I meant more for food. Where's the bear tribe? Yeah. A lot of nonsense over there. It gets light early in this game. Four to four fifteen. I think the lightest it really gets the the only it, it never gets this light where I live this early in the day. The earliest it starts getting this light would be like six a.m. Uh, when the clocks have turned back. Otherwise, it, it's just barely visible. I just want to ride them again. <laughs> oh, right, I forgot about that. I think this is the first time I've seen someone shoot and fish and catch the corpse instead of trying to catch them live. Oh, right, you can do that. I forgot. 
The faster fish you can't do that with, though. They're just a little too hard to get. Alright, so it looks like the only way across here is the bridge. Can I fuse a zone eyepiece? Hold on, I'm curious. No, you can't. They stop you. Well, he stops you. Yeah, you can. Ah, I see. So now I, now I got a pusher. I got a wind pushing uh, shield. Like basically, has magic super glue. Yeah. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. 6.15. So let's move at 5. It moves a minute per second, right? 6.20. 6.25. 6 6.30. Okay, so it's a bit faster. It's a bit faster than 1 minute per second. But it is, um... Generally how this is working. Play the song of inverted time. Attach. Nice that it didn't go solid, or it didn't go even there like I wanted it to, but... Okay. There we go. to be redundant, so, okay. Can I say anything different now that's daytime? No, they don't. Thought there might be, like, a thing here, like, if you if you try fusing these together, but, no. They, they don't want you using these. Alright. And it is time for me to go. I have to eat. Here's what I'll do. I will grab this. We'll get to the other side, and then I'll stop for a bit. Let me just hit A to, to drop it. Veering. Veering a bit. Nice. Not bad. I could probably light that fire too, but we're going to do that later. Uh, I have to get going because it's time to eat. Uh, I'll be back, not like directly, like, like probably I'll probably be back in like an hour, and we'll we'll continue on till uh, two, and then I'm gonna switch to uh, theater rhythm to the DLC. So uh, thank you for coming so far. I'll be back. We'll we'll put a little more uh, oomph into the next part, and uh, I will talk more about what happened over the weekend later.